Now the false ballistic missile alert had many people thinking, what would you do if it actually happened? For some, there were no second thoughts because they were prepared. Reporter Greg Robinson introduces us to one East Tennessee prepper who says the Hawaii alert is just the latest in a series of events that should serve as a wake up call. Now prepping isn't anything new. There's financial, physical and spiritual prepping. And here in East Tennessee, they're not just prepping for the end of the world. What is at stake is more than one small country. Three words it changed Heidi idea. Keller's life. A new world order. Where but when I heard George Bush Sr. in a speech use the word thoughts. new world order, it was a wake up call for me. So I began to prepare in whatever way possible. I wasn't for sure what I was preparing for, but I've had a backpack in my car ever since. What started with one emergency bag, Keller now has enough food, water, clothing, and other necessities stowed away to last her for over a year. But despite nearly three decades of prepping, Keller says she's in no way ready to handle the fallout from a modern nuclear attack. The nuclear weaponry that we have now is not the same as what was dropped on Hiroshima. Uh, kiss it goodbye. I'll be honest with you, as close as we are to Oak Ridge, no, I don't think we'll, we'll survive that. It's, it's, it's just, you can't, I wouldn't want to survive it, let's put it that way. Keller refers to herself as a homesteading prepper. Hardcore preppers will stockpile weapons and ammunitions for a battle, but homesteaders focus more on life without electricity or grocery stores. Keller says she's prepared for a total financial breakdown, electromagnetic pulse, and natural disasters. She says her preparation has paid off multiple times, and recent events only reinforce her decision to choose the lifestyle. This question I get asked, well, what if nothing ever happens? Okay, nothing happens. But what if it does? Are you prepared? Were they prepared in Hawaii? As I was reading the, even though it was a false alarm, what were they saying? Tears and panic. Now, while Keller takes prepping very seriously, she says it's also fun and it's important to get out and go camping with your gear. That way you're used to it and you have a well thought out plan so you don't panic in case there is that tragic disaster. In Cock County, I'm Grant Robinson. Back to you.